Over the course of five years, I've been working out of my tiny, cramped, unorganized, and actually quite dangerous garage. As embarrassed as I am, here is the current state of it. There's even a flipping fridge in the middle of it. But it's kind of got ridiculous at this point. Working in this garage is like starring in a Final Destination movie. This just isn't okay at the moment. It's actually genuinely unsafe. It's actually dangerous working in here because there's bits of sheet metal, there's nowhere to walk, and you trip over and you hit your head on sheet metal. Mate, bye-bye. See you in the underworld, mate. It's horrible in here. Absolutely horrible in here. The problem with this garage is it's a family garage. Everything you don't need or don't want to see for the next five years, you just throw it in here. Hence the, you know, I've got a winter shovel, basically. I've got bits of kitchen laying about. I mean, for flip's sake, I've got a chainsaw right here. <laughs> so it's about time we get to work. It is absolutely hectic at the house today. We've got my new BMW 330Ci, Mini Cooper, and we've just got this massive delivery from a company that supported the channel for a long, long time. Let's crack it open. So right here, we actually have something really, really exciting. Celia have helped this garage rebuild project by supplying their complete garage storage system. This includes two mobile trolleys, so I can wheel out my tools to when I'm working on the cars. We've got pegboards to hang up all the tools. Oh my God, that's insane. So the first step was to clear out a little bit of space for this so that we don't end up going out in the morning and find someone sleeping in it. Cool. I'll be looking for a shelf. This is genuine dangerous. And luckily for me, I actually have a storage container where I actually store my Mazda MX-5. So anything that didn't need to be seen for the next 10 years, quite simply just got moved into here and shut away to be forgotten for years to come. So now we've got a little bit of room just to store the unit till we have time to build the rest of the system and clear out the rest of the garage. Well, that was a fucking mission. Look at this, using Sealy products to assemble Sealy products. So the next day I actually got onto assembling the two mobile trolleys for the garage system. Literally this consisted of just putting on the wheels and the handles onto the unit and that's about it. As simple as that. Oh my god. I'm not used to this quality. I'm used to bedside tables. Two drawers all made up. So literally, when I'm working on cars, I can just drag this panel, grab my tools, work on a car, push it back. Mate, that is so nice. Got room for all the tools. Now we've built them, however, we've got to basically make room. So we've got to remove this out, which means making more mess to shove these back in. So unfortunately with this garage build, I had limited time to actually sort it out and everything that came out of it needed to go back in. So it was a simple process of one thing out, one thing in. It was actually disgraceful. There was just four random chairs there. There's a fridge. But the things we didn't need anymore, we just took it straight to the skip. <laughs> and this was one of many skip trips. Oh, that little rhyme, skip trips. <laughs> Ta-da! All done. Emptied. Oh yeah! Look at that. Oh my goodness! Look at that! <laughs> Man's building a kitchen! I've got wood in my flipping garage, mate! So yeah, the third element of this complete garage system was actually the wooden workbench. So again, a long process of one thing out, one thing in. We made room for the workbench and the drawers. Put the premium wooden worktop on top, then slid the two mobile trolleys underneath into their rightful home. The next thing to go up onto the walls was actually all of the pegboards. So we drilled holes for them, put the fixings in, and then screwed the pegboards to the wall where these can be paired up 
with accessories for pegboards such as shelving, hooks, screwdriver holders, literally anything you want so that you can store your tools on the wall instead of on the worktop. Now guys, we've actually got this space right here and we've got that space right there. It is actually for a little cabinet. There's more storage in this garage than my fucking kitchen. It is crazy. So this is actually gonna go there and the other one's gonna go on the other side. And inside here, there's, an, there's more pegboards. <laughs> Like Bob the Builder. Now, just like with kitchen cabinets, I put on a little bit of Tiger Seal onto the units because I'm installing it. So I really don't want this to fall off the wall as it's probably going to be carrying some really heavy tools eventually. So as well as all the bolts and the fixings in the wall, we've also got the security of the Tiger Seal because literally you could stick planets together with this stuff. Wow! That's so cool! This is awesome! Eee! And here guys is the final result! Wait. Boom! Right then, so the plan is now is actually to get rid of this bedside table cabinet. And true story about this cabinet, it's actually free. We saw it on the side of the road, some old man brought it to the house and it was a free unit, and I can't complain. It's done very, very well. Look at this, we've even got a metal cutter, which was actually used to cut out pieces of sheet metal that I could bend and mold to then weld onto my MX-5 to replace all of the rusty metal and the holes. And it's fair to say it was basically half the car, but that bedside table really, really came in handy as we were able to mount that metal sheet cutter onto it. But yeah, it literally <laughs> just stores all my tools and things as you can see but it's about time that we upgrade this because it's starting to fall apart and i've had to screw it together then we're going to replace it with the shelves and then we're going to get another drawer but it will clear up all of this space right here Bang. oh it smells it smells like it smells like a cabin a log cabin Oh, I could sniff that all day, you know. So elegant. Beethoven would be looking up to me. Now, of course, we've got two shelves. So the other one is actually going to go on the other side. It's going to be replacing this bookshelf right here. <laughs> Literally thinking that cars are my literal full-time job. You wouldn't think I'm working outside a bedside table that is screwed in to hold it together. It's even missing a drawer. I don't know where that's gone. So luckily these Halford shelvings were super easy to put up. Literally all you needed was a hammer and these biceps mate. But they got put up super, super quickly. Although they are absolutely terrible quality, I can't lie, for 30 pounds for each shelf, this gave us so much room to get all of this mess off the floor and semi-organized onto the shelves. We've obviously got these two shelves and it's cleared up so much room. I'm actually planning on getting a third one right here because we've obviously got you know a few more things to put away but the thing is if we get a shelf we can literally just put all of this tucked into the shelf which will just clear up a lot more space so literally these halfords <laughs> shelves are really really coming in handy it might it might look like a mess right now but we're getting there we're slowly slowly getting there with this whole garage build the second halfords trip of today's video and we are actually in my trusty mini cooper and this is a perfect chance to talk about today's sponsor, Adrian Flux Insurance, who just so happens to insure my Mini Cooper. <laughs> so first up is my 2006 Mini Cooper in this beautiful British racing green. This car right here is actually my 2001 BMW E46. Six cylinder, three liter, naturally aspirated rear wheel drive car. And this right here is my BMW M240i that I've made to look like an M2 because 
I didn't have the capacity. So we don't have the capacity. Now something in common between the three different cars is they are all insured by Adrian Flux. And with each one, every single modification is declared on it. This car stock runs around 330 brake horsepower. Remapped, this is running around 450 brake horsepower with a whole load of supporting mods. And everything from the aesthetics to the tuning side of it is declared to Adrian Flux. Adrian Flux is actually an insurance broker that insures thousands of drivers all over the UK, including myself. Now, Adrian Flux pride themselves on insuring the uninsurable. Take it from me, I'm 24 years old trying to insure two six cylinder, three litre BMWs that I plan on modifying and have modified. No insurance companies wanted to entertain me whatsoever until I found Adrian Flux. Everything from the stickers to the headlights to the exhaust are all declared on this Mini Cooper. So if you guys are interested in getting a car insurance quote today, whether that's modified or just car insurance in general, click the link in the description to get a call back today. Anyway, let's get back in the car and head to Halfords. Lovely jubbly. My bank account is really hurting after this garage build, I can't lie. Honestly, man's become a professional at installing these Halford shelves. It literally takes me like no longer than five minutes to put these up. And it literally just clears up the whole of the floor because it gives everything a place to go. Now we were left with the final bit of the mess, which pretty much I just kind of like ended up cleaning it. If you call this cleaning it, you know. Up next, we have actually got the pegboards. Sounds like a pornography category. So I don't really like that word. We're gonna call them hangers. That's what we're gonna call them from now on. If you guys haven't noticed that all of these black pieces behind the workspace are not just for looks. They are actually pegboards and it's like cars. You know when you type in car accessories and you find like some new badges or something? This is it, this year. If you actually go online and type in pegboard accessories, these little square holes come in very, very handy. Let me show you. This is one of the accessories. It's just a hook. Bang that on there, and you've got some spanners to go on, or whatever you want. It looks quite ugly right now, but pretty much we can actually get like these little bins and hang them up like this. Wow, look at that. Organization, mate. Rough. I could actually do with one more, so I might order one more, but yeah, pretty much a little bit of an organization structure to that. So let's get the rest of them all on. And then look at the finished product. So this accessory is meant to be for screwdrivers to hold screwdrivers in, but I didn't really have many screwdrivers, I can't lie. So I just stored a Sharpie and some other couple bits. Up next was these two little hooks where pretty much I could actually hang my ratchet spanner set up on and clear the table and the workspace and give it a nice, aesthetically pleasing new home. Up. We've got the car vertical, 20% off with toss, but here is the Sealy complete workstation, all installed now with the pegboard in full use. We've got these little trays, and the main thing I'm happy about is these spanner set. Literally, this is my ratchet spanner set, and obviously it's just so nice because it clears up the whole workstation. And there's literally no excuse now to be unorganized because everything has a place. Now we've actually got one more thing to install for part one. Just gonna finish it off, give me a little bit more storage. But yeah, pretty much it's as simple as wheeling it in and getting shit put away, tucked away, in its right place. I feel like a school canteen lady wheeling in like the dessert trolley. But that's the last thing going in the garage right now. I don't know if you can even see it. And whew, this is the last bit. Literally another workstation. We've got so many drawers. <laughs> got so many drawers. There's, hold on, one, two, three. There's like, mate, there's, I can't even count that high. I didn't pass my GCSE, so I can't even count that high, but there's so many drawers now.
Right, so the garage is actually all now done. For once, we can actually walk from the front of the garage all the way to the back. This is the first time in years, isn't it, Mum? First time in years I've actually been able to walk through the garage, but it's looking so much more fresh. This was disgusting before. Now we've got some nice new racking. Still a bit, bit of a mess, but we'll buy some nice storage for that. And then, of course, we've got the nice new toolbox. Look at this. Copper washers in there. Yeah, we've got everything all nice and organized. We ripped the, the lids off all of them so we can just easily access them. More washers. Again, rip the, the lids off them so they're nice and organized now. Nice little, look at that. Mate, that is just, that's sexy. And then you got the sockets. After that, it will be all over the place. Mom, <laughs> do you want to roast me like that? You're taking a piece of me. It's organized for about two hours. My mum's right. It's about, give it two hours while working on a car and it will be disgusting again. But why are you roasting me, mum? You're meant to be supporting me. <laughs> I'm supporting you. I'm holding this. <laughs> God, I'm just getting roasted by my mum, you know. Yeah. We've now got the nice worktop. Oh, beautiful worktop. Good, very nice and tidy. It is so tidy, you know. Very tidy. Good job, Michael. Why well you, done. Why do you sound like a fucking robot? <laughs> If you wanted to cook your dinner on here, look at this. You've got more room in here than the kitchen. Let's quickly go for this. Look, okay. This isn't very organized. This is probably what it's going to look like 90% of the time, but you're not very happy with that it's, one. It's to be hoovered. Oh, shut. You think I'm going <laughs> to flip in hoover it? Inside here. I've got everything in there. Wow. Yeah. And I've even put this nice, nice little thing so that we don't scratch it. So yeah. everything is nice now tucked away. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. That's First good. time. First time in history. First time in history where I have ever, ever... It's clean for once. Right then, so that is actually the full garage transformation done. It looks absolutely insane compared to what it was before. Before, literally, you would not catch me stood right here. You'd ca if I went back in time, I'd be stood on top of a fridge right now, mate. Or I'd be stumbling over t 10 years of collected sh But yeah, it's crazy to see what even like a hundred pounds worth of shelving can do. Everything that was on the floor is literally just shoved on that now. And make sure you subscribe for maybe the part two of this. You never know. I mean, you guys have seen the background of all the videos. I've been working out this tiny, tiny half a garage garage half of the carriage for so long working out of bedside tables and now finally got some proper proper storage and looks so good mate this is your sign to redo your garage or just invest in where you work or whatever because this is i should have always done this anyway thank you guys so much for watching hopefully guys enjoy and i'll see our faces in 